Nancy Stewart Murray. Very nice to meet you. I'm Jeff Kerbison with Winnipeg Free Press, and I'm at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights on a tour with, among other people, Icelandic Prime Minister Sigmundur Gunnlaugsson. Welcome to Winnipeg. Thank you. It's great being here. Now, can I ask you what you're in town for? Well, I'm here for the Icelandic festival, Islandinga Dagurin. Uh, I'll be traveling around quite a bit. Uh, the main festivities will be in, in Gimli, of course, but uh, I'll be uh, traveling around uh, Manitoba and uh, and meeting with uh, uh, Canadian Icelanders. Uh, have you been to the museum before? Uh, no. Well, the last time I was here, this was just a hole in the ground. So coming here again and, and seeing this actually happening and, and this building uh, having progressed this far, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. It, it's, it'll be like uh, stepping into the future. You mentioned some of the ties between Iceland and Manitoba. Uh, can you give some specifics on you know, what the important industries might be that are, are, uh, that are shared between the two mm. jurisdictions? Yeah, well, uh, mainly this has been a, a question of cultural ties. But what I'd like to see happen is, is that we will further expand economic ties. There have been economic ties, but I, I see a lot of room for, for expanding those ties. Because what we see is that once uh, a person has been here from Iceland and experienced uh, experienced Canada, but, but also uh, come into contact with Canadian Icelanders and realized how strong those ties still are, people go back home and tell their friends and family that they have had a, an amazing experience. How much is known about Gimli, or New Iceland as we once called, back in your neck of the woods? Um, quite a bit, although uh, people don't realize, unless they've been here, how, uh, how strong the uh, Canadian Icelandic community is and how, uh, how they've preserved the, uh, the history and the culture. So that is what, what is so, so, so surprising, going to Gimli or, or New Iceland, traveling around, uh, visiting people on a farm there, and, and it feels just like you're coming into a farm in, in Iceland. Also, to experience the, uh, the goodwill of these two people towards Iceland. So um, although people have some idea about um, the, the size of the Icelandic Canadian population, or, or where on the map Winnipeg or Gimli is, um, no one can really understand these strong and special ties without coming here. And that's why I'd like to see as many Icelanders as possible coming over to, to Canada. There was even a discussion not long ago uh, that it should be a part of uh, the curric curriculum of, of children going to, to Canada to visit. Hopefully that will happen someday. but. Uh, in any case, I hope as many Icelanders as possible will come here.